Relationships openly and honestly, and also to clear up the rumors of her marriage to the country entertainer Keith Whitley. Welcome the author of, here it is, I've got it right here, this touching autobiography. It's called Forever Yours Faithfully, My Love Story. Welcome the country beauty whose life really does read like a country song. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Lori Morgan. Beautiful, Lori Morgan. Thank you. I mean, I meant what I said in, in reading this. It is remarkable <clears throat> the times you have gone through, my dear. It really does read like a country lyric. Uh, do you think that your personality generates some of these adventures, or is it just a question of chance? Um, probably a little of both. I, um, I've never been one to really settle for the ordinary, I think. Um, until my older age, of course, but... Um, I don't think you're settling quite <laughs> yet. Yeah. Haven't you just married someone 10 years younger than you? Yes. And, all right, so yes. that's what you call settling? Well, all right. kind of, <laughs> kind of. What's next? Uh, I, I, hope, I hope this is the last. Do you think I so? Hope, I do, hope. Do you think that, uh, you know, uh, a zebra can change stripes? Well, I don't really think that um, that I've been Miss Wild or anything. I think that I've just been searching for romance, maybe in all the wrong places. Who hurt you the worst? <laughs> I would have to say um, Troy. Troy Aikman? Yeah. The Dallas football quarterback, the, the great uh, star. How, how so? I read so much about your lives, your love life <clears> in the tabloids. <throat> it, it seemed like not a week went by where it wasn't a he said, she said. That's exactly right. And I think, I think that, unfortunately, uh, the tabloids have hurt more of us than, than they realize. Not that they really care. Not that they care, but Troy should have cared. How did he hurt you? Um, well, I think that, that Troy was um, very young and wasn't really prepared for life in the spotlight. It, was he it, jealous of your past? Men often are. Uh, I think he, he was to a degree. I think that was something that was real hard for him to deal with. Contrast Troy Aikman, the, the flamboyant football star with Senator Fred Thompson, the sometime actor from Watergate fame when he was chief counsel, now on the Senate Finance Committee, these hearings on campaign funding irregularity. How did you meet and did you love him? Well, we met in Nashville um, at a restaurant called Mario's in Nashville. And actually, my manager, Susan, introduced us one night. And um, we got to talking that week, Susan and I did. And I said, he was really a nice guy. She said, well, you know, you ought to go out with him sometime. And I said, all right, fine. So he called, and we went to a, um, I think it was a, a governor's ball in Nashville and started seeing each other. And I really, yeah, I loved Fred. How did you, you loved him? Mm -hmm. Really loved him? I, I think I loved him in a more mature way versus that wild, crazy, passionate, you know, that kind of thing. I, but I, I did love Fred. How did um, you like life in the political spotlight? I didn't like that too much. Being Miss uh, Politically Correct. I, I'm telling you, not if, your anyone, style. if anybody can be politically Reading this book, I know it's not. <laughs> incorrect, that's me. Lori Morgan's my guest. We'll be right back. Let's take one. Incidentally, you get a, a CD, look at that, with the book. What a nice idea. Get a CD right with the book. All right, let me get right to uh, this sad thing. I mean, Keith was a, a big uh, a hero of yours. I'm sure he made it before you did. In a sense, it was almost like a star is born. You were coming up so fast, and his career basically uh, destroyed by his own, uh, you know, overindulgence. But uh, when they put him back on the bus, Keith tried to close the door to his private room in the back, but Mike and the other musicians kept opening the door so they could keep an eye on him, which only made him mad. He clearly had something in mind. Mike went back to investigate and found Keith getting ready to drink 409 cleaning solution. Mike lunged and grabbed it out of his hands. Keith's need for alcohol was so great that he was willing to drink anything, mouthwash, cologne, cleansers, cough medicine. 
I mean, it is a, a frightening, frightening story. And then you talk about taking him to the hospital uh, the first time he almost overdosed and the doctor coming to you and saying he'd never seen a man who had, uh, who had drunk so much. Uh, Drink it, that much and live. And live. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, was it absolutely uncontrollable? Did you try? Oh, I tried with all I could, but all, all I knew how to try. Um, and speaking on behalf of people who have no idea what it's like when you get involved um, with someone who is that much addicted to alcohol or drugs, I had no idea <clears throat> how to deal with this, none whatsoever. And I really believed that my love for Keith um, that he, you know, possibly been sad for too long and, and, and that... Until he met you, you mean? That's right, and I thought, well, my love for him will change this craving and he won't need it anymore. And I was very um, unaware of how to help someone who was that sick. Which was worse for you, Lori? And I, I don't know how to ask this question in a kind way. Which was worse, uh, mm -hmm. the fact that he was so self-destructive in terms of the alcoholism or the fact that he died, apparently, in another woman's arms? Well, I think that probably that he was so self-destructive, um, mainly because I have Jesse, his son, to worry about. and as a grown woman, we deal with things that we don't necessarily want to all the time. Um, whereas your partner cheats, your husband cheats, your wife cheats, whatever. We're grown people, we're adults, life goes on. You get on with it. But we're talking about a child who, because of Keith's addictions, is fatherless. In a way, did that, in your mind, justify your affair with Kenny Rogers, mm -hmm. who was at the time a married man? No, that in no way justified it. Uh, there is no way to really justify that. Um, other than I was young, and, um, and yes, I knew better, but at the same time, here was this man bigger than life offering me um, safety, warmth, um, How's things now? Are you in love now? I, yes, I, yeah? I'm uh, very happy. My husband, John, is uh, um, a true supporter of mine. He's also a great friend, and uh, that is something that I've also learned as and you get older. And he's also a young stud. And things are really good right now. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Lori Morgan, we'll knock on wood for Lori. Taking things up for new CD. Her own yours, faithfully, her book. Lori Morgan, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.